great to see everyone back again. Hi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're heading south. Yep. We are heading towards the border. Yep. And there's a sort of a question for me. For We're going you. to why Arizona? Mm -hmm. That's the question. Why what? Arizona? <laughs> why are we going to Arizona? <laughs> right, right, exactly. But we're in Arizona. No, why? Well, because... We're, we're going to why? Arizona, Arizona is like right next to Mexico, and that's where we're going is to Mexico. That's right, but that's exactly right. But we're, why? We're, we're heading to why? Well, because we have to queue up there. <laughs> that's right. So, people, we are going to why Arizona. That's a town oh. in Arizona. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who's on first? Still early. <laughs> she wasn't playing around on that one. <laughs> he confused me. He does that. Little stinker. <laughs> <laughs> From Y, we're gonna launch. Yeah, we're right? gonna into we're Mexico. Gonna launch ourselves down into Mexico. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> But we got a plan. We got a plan. We, we think we figured out a way to get across the border and not be noticed. Yes. Yeah, I don't remember this. Yeah, this is another check station for Border Patrol. It's like, hey, knock yourself out. You're welcome to go into Mexico. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is, oh, my goodness. This is the warm-up. This is preparing us <laughs> yeah. to go through the border crossing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Woo! I sure hope I um You locked everything down. I sure hope I did too. You know, why did the border patrol cross the road? Huh? You know, to get to the trunk on the other side. You know, expect it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're about 40 miles away from our stop for tonight. Remember us driving by this campground area, and I remember thinking it was like a derelict old campground, rundown campground that was just closed up. That's what I remember about this place. Yes. Now that was just after COVID. Some places were still yeah, feeling but, COVID a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, and, it, and you're sure this is open. So he's called well, no, left I'm, several messages and no one's returned his messages. All right, so there's a blue service sign that has a tent. So that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> really? Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Flags. Yeah. It says open. That's another great sign. <laughs> yeah. An open sign. Unlike Alaska. Alaska. Closed. What? The office is closed. Very much. So we just pull into really a site that we think will fit and and that's a good. He is not reversing the video. This is David backing down the road. Well, now that we're in the site, David's going to reposition the rig, and I'm just going to stand here, and he's going to see if he can try and hit me. I'm his target. He's doing a pretty good job. We're entering the wall. That's here. That's the gas station that we stopped at where David cleaned the windshield. Continue on South Sonoma Highway. And we got our last bit of gas. We think we figured out a way to get across the border and not be noticed. Yes. So we'll we'll see if it works. We're gonna try and be as incognito as possible.
Okay, well, I think that's, I think that looks pretty good. Well. Is it supposed to be level? No. See, I guess you want, in case it rains, you want the water to like flow off of it. And that's exactly. Not straight. And it kind of goes with the top of the smart car, so it kind of looks like, oh. you know, it sort of goes. Well, you know my OCD-ness, this is driving me crazy seeing this <laughs> uh, not level. I'm going to get some ratchet straps and strap them on each one. And mm -hmm. then the sleeping bag's on top in the center. Cool. Go do it. Yeah, I think we're I'm good. I'm cold. <laughs> All right, well, I was a little worried that he couldn't get the stuff in the back of the car. Oh, yeah, and there's another bungee strap, a red one. Well, that's kind of high vis. leave that in there. Yeah. Wow, that works out. Look at that. Look that at that. Works Isn't out that great. just like almost perfect? Yeah. So then tomorrow morning we'll get all our stuff and put it in the back. Yes. Yep. Awesome. Good job. So this is a safe place. We feel really comfortable, but we just don't want to tempt anybody. So we're going to actually put the bikes inside. So, so how are we going to do that? We'll just have to get them up through the front door. Oh, I think you need to evil Knievel that. I think you have <laughs> enough space yeah. there. I am not evil and Knievel. And um, put the throttle on, get your batteries on, put the throttle and just shoot it up in there. Just don't touch my soda machine. Poor little Pathfinder. Oh my goodness. Well, you've got plenty of room but in there. Actually, yeah. You have, I can pack so, oh, oh, oh. If I had known this, I could pack <laughs> some more stuff. go and all of this hopefully it'll make it all the way down to Puerto Penasco hopefully <laughs> did a great job I've got it strapped yeah this way and this way and then this way and this way again a lot of crisscrossing a lot of crisscrossing so should work cool <laughs> yeah all right are we ready I think so. Just about. Let's uh, let's do it before Pathfinder just tips over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We're getting ready to head south. Yep. We're packed. All packed. <laughs> our bags are packed. We're ready to go. <laughs> We're standing here outside our home. <laughs> All right. So yeah, beautiful day, mm -hmm. and. Gosh, we're going to head south of the border. Hopefully they'll let us in. Hopefully we make it. Hopefully they don't think we're trying to move in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just a few days. All right, so let's hit it. Let's hit it. Yeah. We have officially started our trek south mm -hmm. and I sure hope all that stuff I strapped down on the bike rack I hope it holds well the good news is we can see it all in the rear view camera yes so, so if anything shifts yeah right it's exactly right I tell you this park is surprisingly Nice. It's really nice. <laughs> I mean, you know, I had my doubts, but it's clean, it's quiet. Everyone is really nice here. Yeah. Um, both the office staff and the um, the campers. And apparently it's a dark sky area, so they get a lot of amateur yeah. astronomers here. And what the manager called desert rats. People <laughs> like coming out here, living in the desert mm -hmm. and finding all manner of desert critters it's for having nice weather today oh and it is just gorgeous and the flowers are in bloom and it's yeah. just green it just it's really nice it is so so pretty yeah, it's amazing how alive the desert is yes and yes it you is just, you just don't think about that and i just need some wildlife <laughs> to go along with all the flowers yeah so we're trying to get down to mexico and Sandra loves to take pictures, so 
<laughs> We've stopped already a couple of times. We'll get down there today. It's not even noon yet, so we still have a lot of daylight left. <laughs> Here we go. Back from whence we came. Look at all these motorhomes are over to the left. Yeah. Oh, glass sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so it's oh, green yeah, arrows it's on, on, but... They got a cone up, so they're directing everyone to this left lane. Just like before. So it's kind of cool they have these markers where it shows the U.S. and Mexico. Oh, yeah. And um, that reminds me when uh, we saw that marker up in Alaska when we crossed over. Oh, yeah, yeah. They had between Canada and the U.S. The international border. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Wonder if we're going to see your buddy with the machine gun. Man, I don't know. If we do, he's going to be coming out of that building over yes, there. Yes, like he did before. He came running, running out of there. Running out. Yeah, so there's a couple of RVs right in front of us, and uh, it is taking a while for them to get through. I wonder if they are being inspected. Yeah. Well, if they ask us for produce, we have none. But I do have a ham and cheese sandwich in here and some chips. Yeah, well, it wouldn't take oh, them long. Dried mango. Wouldn't take them long to inspect yeah. the uh, smart car. Yeah. Just hope they don't ask you to start unbagging everything. Yeah, really. I've got it just so. I don't know if I could get it back the same way. <laughs> oh, so that uh, weight went away, and now it just said enter. So they are kind of uh, monitoring mm -hmm. it. So we have entered into Mexico, but we have, we have not actually officially entered yet completely. Oh, they're getting inspected big time. They are. Oh, he says go over here. Like, okay, we are. No one's chasing after us, right? Well, we totally made up <laughs> for last time. Yeah, okay. They just said move along, didn't check our passports, nothing. Nothing. All so right, then. that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, <laughs> really? Redemption. Redemption. Oh, oh, okay, they're just wanting to. Uh, no, no, we're good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, oh, no, no, come on. No, 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 go. no, 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 no. Windshield wipers. No, no, no. Just go, David. Thank you. Man, these guys are aggressive. Man, super aggressive. Okay. So we did see on YouTube one time, there was a couple okay. that came down here and said, watch for the speed limit. And there are yes. no speed limit signs. There are no stop signs. So... We have to, they so 40 kilometers per hour. Yes. And watch for stop signs. Only one hour to get wrecked at the reef. Stay thirsty, my friends. Puerto Penasco. <laughs> oh my goodness. So is that guy, is that like the wall drugs where we're gonna see, uh, oh, see really? the billboards every mile? No kidding. Swimsuits, swimwear. Oh, this is funny. You see all the swimwear now. He looks clean. Coca Cola. Big bag of snacks. Oh, yeah. Road trip. <laughs> Puerto Penasco. Oh, this is cute. It has Puerto Penasco and Rocky Point. Still not sure of the speed limit right here, so I'm still doing. 25. There's nobody behind us, so that's okay. Yeah. Aww. There's a sign up here. It says, Bien Viaje. Safe travels. Safe travels. Good travels. Very nice. That is so this is nice. It. This is it from here to Puerto. Yes. 60 miles of nothing. Yes, of desert. And there's a, oh, this is interesting. So they've got an ambulance right next to the Bien Viaje. Viaje. 
That's interesting. And a stop sign. And a stop sign. Oh. Is she going to talk to us? Nope. No? Just wanted us to stop and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are we are off off, but we're still on a twenty five mile an hour <laughs> speed limit. So it we're might not take longer than what we plan. We're not off very fast. Roads are nice so far, and then uh, safety zone. Yeah, in Mexico, this is pretty cool. All right, cool. eighty. Woo! Eighty. All right. So that's fifty miles an hour. This uh, is pretty. Eighty is like fifty. Five, I think. Well, I just doubled 40, which was 25. Can't you just double it? No, that's true. I wish you can. We are rolling now in the safety zone, heading to Puerto Penasco at 58 miles to go. Yep, 58 miles. To our miles destination. Now. So we're going 50 so miles cool. an hour, so a little less than an hour. I guess that would be Is that it? Here. Surely not. Probably should have brought some allergy medicine. <laughs> some allergy medicine with all, look at all this yellow. Oh, I know. oh my gosh, it's wow. crazy. Lots of it. Wow. All right, so we're uh, 38 miles from Puerto Penasco in our campground. Mm -hmm. And we decided to have a little lunch. That way we uh, stay on schedule and and I'm not starving when we get there and have to hook up. That's right, and you have get headaches and stuff like that. Yeah, there's no hooking up where yeah. we're at. But we've stopped at what they call a descanso. It's a rest area. Mm -hmm. This is pretty typical of what you yeah. see on uh, this, um, I guess, Highway, highway 8. Highway 8. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is the, uh, the safe route, mm -hmm. they call it. Safety zone. Yeah. But pretty typical, so we're gonna have lunch here and no uh, no toilets. No, what do you mean? Pit There's or otherwise. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, nice area, mm -hmm. nice drive so far. Oh yeah, the roads have been really good. It's been great. At the end of this 70 mile safety, hassle-free hassle -free. corridor mm -hmm. uh, from Sonoita down to Puerto Penasco mm -hmm. or Rocky Point, yep. as it's called in English, mm -hmm. uh, is a really it's a tourist area. Yeah, a lot of people come down for the winter, mm -hmm. and there's a campground down there that we're going to stay at, and we've wanted to stay at. And two years ago, we tried to get there, yeah. but we want to stay there. So, well, obviously, we're not in. Voyager and Orion. No. So we're going to go back to our roots a little bit and yeah. camp on the beach. But now, tent camping. Tent camping, that's right. Now, how close we get to the beach, we're not sure. Depends on how many yeah. people are there. But uh, we've yeah wanted to get down here. And uh, so this is really more just a, a little exploratory trip, yeah. kind of to unplug for a little bit. Uh, mainly because there's no electricity there, no. <laughs> no, yeah, we're going to be, yeah, boondock backpacking, tent camping. Definitely not quite roughing it. We have brought a few amenities <laughs> yeah, a few with things. us. Yeah, as we get closer, we're about uh, 20, 18 miles out now. Uh, it's definitely getting flatter. Yeah, sandier, yep. desert desertier. A few mountains have popped up mm -hmm. uh, close by, but I think those are sand dunes up there. That's ahead. it. It's uh, it's pretty flat, mm -hmm. but we're yeah making our way, getting uh, excited. Uh, I you know I can't wait to see what this campground's like Me in too. person and just explore the area. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll we'll see. We're what's... supposed to have really really good weather. I mean, like perfect camping weather. Yeah, yeah. So should be nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe even get some of those famous uh, Puerto Penasco shrimp. Yeah. So we've come through the construction industrial area where everything is for sale. Yeah. And it's like we go through an intersection and voila, 
Mm -hmm. it's, it's like crossing the railroad tracks. Which side of the tracks do you yeah, live on? It's uh, clean. It's a little more modern. Mm -hmm. Palm trees down the center of a median. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Four lane road. It's nice. Sam's Club over there. Oh, wow. That's pretty wild. That's wild. Taco fish, ooh. Stop. Yep. I mean, you know what I mean, there's a stop sign. No, I, there is a stop sign, <laughs> but it's not super obvious. No, it's not. It's, it's um, off to the side and on a regular and it's not telephone super pole. bright red. It's made out of wood. <laughs> so not really reflective either. And uh, just making sure there's not one on yeah. these intersections. It's like, where's Waldo? Let's go find the stop sign. Yeah, yeah. So that's something you got to be on the lookout for is uh, these hidden stop okay, signs. Okay, so here's one right here. Yeah, and they're not consistent. No, this is actually on its own pole. Yes, with graffiti on it. But you can at least see it. At least you can see it. And it's the, the same octagonal design. Watch out for a puppy. As in the U.S. Yes. Uh, stop sign, David. Yep, yep, I see it. So why is there a stop sign and a green light? I don't know. Uh, I go, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's a stop sign. Yeah, so there was a stop light and a stop sign mm -hmm. at the same intersection. Yeah. And, and then here's yeah. a stop sign. For the railroad tracks. Now, I get that. Yeah. Because there's no lights or anything else for the train if it's coming so it's up to you to look out for it mm -hmm. it's almost like a cobblestone road right here yeah and a stoplight and a stop sign again but i'm stopping because i've got the red it looks like everybody else does too so he's got a stop sign and but his light is red as well yes Hmm. So I am not sure. Maybe both sides turn green and it's every man for himself. Okay, so he just turned. He just went. So we have a stop sign too. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go because he's got. No one else is going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, seafood. Very interesting. You've got to be uh, observant, flexible. <laughs> Be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, it's kind of a read between the lines sometimes. Oh, that is a deep oh pothole gosh. right there. Oh, we'd bottom out. Oh, we wouldn't come out of it for like a day. <laughs> it took get a bunch of people to help push us out. Really? So another stop sign here at the roundabout. Here's Sunset RV. Watch out for the cobblestones. Yeah. So have you heard of this place, Sunset RV Park? Is that us? Yes. No, that's not us. Wow. But I have heard of that. Turn left. Okay. That isn't it, is it? In one quarter. I hope one, not. Keep right to three rock hall. I think we go past that. Maybe that's another RV park. Because that looks packed. Oh my gosh. But Here's a lot of side-by-sides you can rent. Oh my goodness, look at them all. Oh wow, and they're right next door to where we're gonna be staying. <laughs> That's some nice side-by-sides. Oh gee, rats. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? Oh, come down to the beach, he says. Oh, we're gonna just take it easy, he said. Relax. Oh, we're gonna unplug, he says. And we're not gonna do anything, he says. <laughs> well, we might need a side-by-side -side to get into our campground. Mm -hmm. That's pretty tall. Oh, yeah. Right it looks a lot, it's a lot bigger than what it looks like in the pictures. Much bigger, much taller. Okay, and then the office is up there. Yes, right here on the left, so, all right. Hey, Bob, watch out, we're going to bottom out. We have... Arrived. Oh, no side-by-sides permitted. Yeah, 
And it's a gated. Ooh, gated community RV. Yeah. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm feeling pretty good about this. All right. I'm going to go check us check in. Check us in. That's right. Oh, we're getting greeted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No room. No room for us. Mas pequeño. <laughs> Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? Uh, from uh, Texas. Really? Yeah. You are in Texas? Yeah. Oh no, no, no. We uh, we were up in Arizona, so we we just drove from Y. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. This would be too far from Texas. Okay. Way too far. So we want to, I guess I come in to check in? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Sounds uh, good. Uh, around. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just got made fun of. <laughs> yes. So they We're too small the, to fit in. Lowered the gate and we shall check in. All right. We pulled in. We're going to check in and see how close we can get to the water. But we got a view of it. Really nice weather here. Oh, so we go inside? Yeah. All right. So the directions were a little iffy, but we think this is okay for our spot because there's a second row and we're small. So we're going to put it right here. Got a great view of the ocean. So let's get set up. If not, we have our backpacking mattresses, but this one would just be a lot nicer. Yes, we're prepared to rough it, but getting some free power for some air would be great. Yes. Okay, we've got it aired up, yes. but now the fun will be taking it across the sandy campground. And it's windy. Yeah, and this it's 15 is, to 20 mile an hour winds. And this is kind of like a sail. Not kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this should be interesting. See, I'm helping too. I'm carrying the heavy stuff. I'm carrying the technical stuff. <laughs> You need some help? No, I got it. So far, so good. Well, I'm your backup, so if it blows, it's going to hit me. So I have a vested interest of you being able to carry this. I saw that. That's our spare bedroom. Don't mess it up. We may need that. It's our primary bedroom today. Walking like a drunkard. We made it. Woo! Yes. Now, if you can get it through the door. Oh, that's easy. This thing's massive, this door. Ah, just like home. Just like home. <laughs> <laughs> All set up, and you know. Before we do anything, let's take a walk on the beach. I think so. <laughs> I mean, we're right here. So we're gonna take a little stroll. All right, water check. 
I have to do it. Oh, okay. This is probably the warmest since Alaska. It's nice. Uh, on a hot day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, not today because the wind's blowing. So, once again, Sandra's a little irritated. I didn't bring my camera. We were just, it's gonna be a quick walk on the beach, nothing to see. And you've got diving, all those pelicans. Diving pelicans. Look at that, that's a, just incredible. And if we go back and get my camera, they're going to be gone. <laughs> Short walk uh, from the campground. Mm -hmm. One block. It was a long block. Yeah, this was like a country block, not a city <laughs> block. This was a Las Vegas block. <laughs> really? But we're gonna see if they're open and get some food for dinner. I don't know. Hi guys. Hi. Good. How are you doing? Yes, we are in the car. I feel like we're at a drive-in movie theater watching the sunset it's a nice show it is it was a little chilly outside for me so i came in the car and david was nice enough to come in and keep me company but um really pretty sunset tonight yeah it's beautiful mm -hmm. always uh, neat seeing the sun uh dip over the yeah. set below the water it is but we didn't see the, the green, green flash no. because there's some some clouds just right where the sun went down yeah. just like right there so we didn't see it but this is still pretty because now i'm seeing the the glow the the mm -hmm. silver lining around the clouds yeah so that's really pretty first uh, morning here at the puerto penasco and Went pretty good. Uh, it was a little uh, breezy last night, not bad, and not as cold as I thought it was going to be. So it was pretty good. Uh, washroom's behind me, so brushing my teeth and uh, shaving and stuff. So uh, nice and clean. And uh, yeah, so, so far it was a good night, and uh, we're going to start the next morning. Oh, and it was a little uh, chilly this morning being here right on the beach, so... Uh, just wore the jacket, uh, pretty comfortable. So up here at the office, a uh, place to sit down on some benches. Uh, there's some few power outlets uh, if you need to charge stuff. And the office behind me has Wi-Fi and connections to all different kinds of services. Scooters delivered, uh, portable, I mean water, potable water, and uh, a dump if you've got it. Of course, we're in a tent, so... <laughs> our dumping is in their restrooms and it's a fair haul from where we're at uh, down by the the water so behind me is uh, where our tent is and it takes a few minutes to to get here but it is gated and uh, they watch who comes in and and who leaves so uh, it's really a nice uh, uh, safe area so we thought we'd give you a little tour of our... <laughs> our beach house. Yeah, that's right. Our beachfront view house. That's right. So beautiful view. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. really nice weather. Mm -hmm. So let's let you check out the outside. So David put this rug down and we've got our solar lights and during the day we keep our chairs out here and in the evening um, we have our living room right at the front door. So this is our living room, our kitchen area, <laughs> dining room, and David's office space right here. 
plus uh, eating. Eating, and so we're doing, uh, we do all our cooking on here, and we've got some food and stuff, and our chai tea, we boil our water. And then with a little lamp here, so it lights up the whole room, and our master bedroom, as you can see, with our um, the air mattress, which is the same that we have at home, so as we're just not totally doing without, <laughs> you know. And um, and then the walk-in closets here and here. <laughs> so. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. But we this is everything. This is how you do smart car camping. Yes. Oh, and the water. We have running water. Oh, that's right. See? <laughs> <laughs> we brought it all. I think we just discovered the hub of Puerto Penasco. Yeah. It's not the casinos. It's not the restaurants. Beaches. Yeah. It's the so, fishing boats. Yeah. So now we know where all our, our shrimp comes from uh, when we get our shrimp tacos in Los Agadones. That's exactly right. Right here. Man. I think we need to go back. I think I saw a taco stand there. That would be fresh. That would, yes. Mm -hmm. Very. But that was uh, very interesting. Man, there was a lot of vendors there. Yes. <laughs> we have found Old Port and there's lots here. So this is the first time I've actually seen a display of stickers actually, in Mexico. That is true. That's the first so time for me. I'm, I'm excited about this. <laughs> excited about stickers. Right. So if you remember a couple of videos ago, we were in Los Algodones trying to find stickers, or Sandra was. Well, we discovered the correct name for them. <laughs> And the first store now that we drop into here in Puerto Penasco. <laughs> and Sandra finds them. Lots of calcomanias. Yes, that's what it is. So Old Port is the tourist central area for Puerto Penasco. Uh, down near the fishing boats. There's a lot of vendors here, a lot of restaurants, a lot of everything. This is, uh, no thank you. Uh, this is where you, you come when you visit Puerto Penasco. And especially if you want stickers. <laughs> Down at the end of the, the pier area, the point. And look at all the pelicans. And guess what? No camera. Lots of pelicans. But that's not the point of this. I'm, we're seeing a sign I have never seen before like this. So we saw that and Sandra asked me, she went, what is that sign? Is that like for someone like no peeing? peeing. And David says, no, I no fishing. I thought it was no fishing. <laughs> no, it's it's the other one. David thought that that other sign said no fishing. So I thought this sign said no pooping. But this is what the no fishing sign looks like. <laughs> All right, if you haven't been able to tell, Sandra's got a thing for pelicans. So walking around Old Port works up a thirst. Yes. And when you're in Mexico, you got to get some fruit water. Today, it's mango. That's how you do it south of the border. 
This should be good. Nice lunch and a nice afternoon walking around Old Port, Porto Penasco. Uh, back at our uh, campsite uh, here on the beach and Sandra sees some pelicans so she's trying to get her pelican fix again. Another nice morning in Puerto Penasco. So pretty. Cool breeze, warm sun, super duper duper low tide. <laughs> yeah. Like no waves. I mean the water's like glass out there. Yeah, it's amazing. It's beautiful. So we're gonna go find some breakfast. Yeah, and um Take some pictures. <laughs> yeah, and I just, yeah, and I I think that's it. <laughs> You're just at a loss for words. You're I so am. excited. I am. <laughs> the things Sandra will do for the right picture. <laughs> so it's about 9.15, 9.30 this morning. Mm -hmm. We're back in Old Port. And it has a decidedly different feel yeah. at 9.30 than it does at, say, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I really like Mexico because they don't really wake up at the same time I wake up, which is like <laughs> late morning. <laughs> That's right. So Mexico is on Sandra time. That's right. And she likes that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take some uh, pictures here in the morning. Is this a bull? And I think that is, okay, they're getting ready for some times this weekend. Yeah, the, they bring the bull out on the old port. And that's no bull. And that's no bull. <laughs> She's learning. She's learning. But gorgeous morning. My goodness gracious. The, the, the ocean is so calm out there. Wow, really nice. It is nice being down here in the morning. It's uh, very peaceful, very quiet. You can really hear the sounds of the harbor, the pelicans, seagulls, boats. Yeah, it's, it's really neat. The vendors getting ready uh, for the start of the day. Uh, it's uh, very cool. I think our friend, our parking meter friend, who helped us yesterday, uh, may uh, help us try to score a certain kind of shirt, which I don't need. No, you don't. <laughs> but they're really nice. Our view for breakfast this morning. Uh, Pretty nice. Yes. Nice way to start the day. And Sandra's getting her pelican fix. There's no doubt. 
But yeah, waiting on our uh, food. It's a nice, uh, nice place to wait. Yeah, and we did something we normally never do, and that's eat at the same place twice. That's true. But we came here yesterday, and the molcajeta was to die for. I mean, the sauce was absolutely incredible. Really good. So we, we love chilaquiles in the morning time, and the sauce is so important in chilaquiles, but so we decided to come back here. Yep. And uh, try it out because the sauce in the molcajeta was so good. That's right. So. Even though we're at the same place, we're trying something different, yeah, and which is still okay. Instead of coca light, I'm having mango juice. <laughs> That's right. Goodbye, house. <laughs> with a <the> view. <laughs> well, actually, we're taking the house with us. That's true. Goodbye, plot of land. <laughs> We are on our way back home and there's been a few checkpoints but we just saw this billboard that was actually quite funny and you just you gotta love the Mexican humor it was uh, fat people are harder to kidnap stay safe stay my safe. friends yeah and it was from this big bar back in uh, Puerto Penasco yeah. <laughs> we've made our what was it like a 60 mile trek yep now we are headed back to the USA. So this is two to the right. Oh yeah, okay. And that just goes along the border. And USA straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Gotta be on the lookout for stop signs. Oh man, no kidding. They hide them. They like to hide them. <clears throat> Turn left on next two. Next to there is, and there is no. So this light. is not a four-way stop. No, it's not. It's just go at your own risk. Yes. You're clear. And then we'll eventually have to get in the right lane. Yeah. So now here's a very obvious stop sign. So that's nice. Yeah, and and this is great. This one's fantastic. It's the ones that they put up on the corners and behind the post. Behind the post and yeah. That are just sort of not very conspicuous. Continue on by name Edito de las Americas. What? <laughs> well she tried. Bless her little heart. Getting ready to cross back home. Here we are. You ready? No man's land, and now. Voila. Ah. We made it back in the USA. We're back yes. home. Went through um, customs with no problem. Yep. Breezed right through. Yeah. Except for the little speed bumps, and then uh, we got stopped afterwards, and they wanted to ask if to. Uh, we he just checked us out, and we asked yep. if we had any food. Any food. We said our snack bags, so he wanted to see it. He wanted to see our snacks, so it apparently nothing interested him. Yeah, so. not very exciting because he was like, "Oh yeah, here you here go." You go. Yeah. So we're boring people, but yeah, heading. Well, we've got one little pit stop first. Yep, and then so. uh, we're gonna be home, and we're about what, 25 miles from home, mm -hmm. so uh, should be there in no time. Well. This is really pretty. We may need to stop and take some pictures. <laughs> All right, so we'll be there in some time. <laughs> yeah, we'll be there before dark. Nightfall. Yeah, nightfall. So one of the pit stops that Sandra wants to do is uh, one of the, well, the first place where we cross the border is here at Oregon Pipe National Monument. Uh, we were here before uh, a few years ago. It was an interesting visit, but a beautiful area. Did some hikes and such, so. Yeah, so uh, once we go in, get a stamp and just kind of check out the air before we head home. A visit isn't complete without Sandra checking out the stickers. Is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> Sandra, 
so we can keep track of where we've been. Yeah. You do all the planning, I do all the tracking. And the stickering. Yes. Now, 17 miles to home doesn't necessarily mean anything. What? <laughs> it depends on how many flowers and scenic sights Sandra sees and wants to take a picture of. There's still, uh, the sun's we still, still up there. have a couple hours of daylight. Yeah, so we'll get home eventually. But it is pretty out here.